Hey y'all, it's me again. So essentially Kwanzaa is a celebration held in the United States that honors African heritage and the African American culture. It's observed from December 26th to January 1st and it culminates in gift giving and, and a big feast. Traditions often include singing and dancing and storytelling, poetry, reading, African drumming, and eating well, of course. Dr. Karenga, professor and chairman of Africana Studies at California State University, first created Kwanzaa in 1966. In 1966, in response to the Watts riots in LA, and 1965, as a way to bring in African Americans together as a community. Um, there are two primary purposes um, of Kwanzaa, and they are to recreate symbolically the sun's power and to provide light. The celebration of fire through candle burning is not limited to one particular group or country. Dr. Karenga researched African harvest celebrations and combined aspects of several different celebrations, such as those of the Ashanti and those of the Zulu, to form the uh, foundation of Kwanzaa. The name Kwanzaa is derived from the phrase Matuna Ya Kwanzaa. Uh, which means fresh fruits of harvest in Swahili. The reason why we have two A's in Kwanzaa now is because this is our second harvest, our upbringing of this generation. Uh, Dr. Karenger created seven guiding principles um, that will be discussed during the week of Kwanzaa and throughout these videos. Um, these principles represent seven values of Afri African culture that help build and reinforce community among African Americans each day. A different principle is discussed um, each day a candle is lit as well on the Kanara here, um, which is the candle holder. On the first night, the center black candle, Umoja, is lit, and the principle is then discussed. Uh, our unity is discussed as well. On the final day of Kwanzaa, families enjoy an African harvest, um, an African feast called Karamu. The three green candles here, um, on my left, your right, are Kujichagulia, which is self-determination, Ujamaa, which is cooperative economics, and Kumba, which is creativity. The, the three red candles um, are in order Ujima, which is collective work and responsibility, Nia, which is purpose, and Imani, which is faith. So, for each of the seven days, we begin by saying Habari Gani, like I said in the introduction video, um, which means what's happening, what's going on. Um, in response, we say what the principle is of the day. So, Habarigani, Umoja, right? So, Kwanzaa has seven core symbols. We have the Mazal, which are the crops. Um, we also have the Makeka, which is the placement mat here. We, we have the Muhindi, which are the ears of corn. Uh, the next symbols that we have are the Mishima. Saba, which are the seven candles that I discussed earlier. Next we have the Kanara, which is the candle holder. Next we have the Kikomba, Cha Umoja, which is the unity cup in front of the Kanara. And after that, the last symbol are the gifts, which are the Zawadi.